Kylie Jenner hides baby bump in a new Calvin Klein ad. Taylor Swift surprises a fan on their wedding day. And Ed Sheeran gets engaged. All that and more on today's Rundown. All right, guys, so Millie Bobby Brown and Jacob Sartorius might be officially, officially dating. Officially, but first we have to talk about the fact that Kylie finally showed her face after five months and is still hiding her baby mom. So if you guys haven't been on Instagram yet today, all five of the Kardashian Jenner sisters posed in a Calvin Klein advertisement together. And as you guys can see, Kylie posed with her sisters all in Calvin Klein undies. All the sisters except for Kylie showed their lower half in the ad, but of course, Kylie hid her baby bump under the blanket showing only her bra. Even Chloe, who's pregnant, showed her belly only covering it with her hand. And Aaron, it looks like this is all we're gonna get from Kylie until the baby comes. And to be honest, you guys, when I saw this, I'm just, I'm over it. I'm like, you know what, Kylie, like this is too much at this point. Like, just tell us you're pregnant. Just show us the baby bump. Like, it's just, it's, it's maddening. I mean, it's I feel maddening. like if anybody out there still believes that she's not pregnant after seeing just her bizarre, basically boobs up behavior for the last like six months, there's just, I mean, she is. It's just like, I know we want her to say it, but let's just rest assured everyone that she is, clearly she's hiding it. Right. And I am just curious as to why she's hiding it. Um, is Does that mean that she is embarrassed or maybe she just wants privacy? I'm curious behind the why behind the hiding. Well, lucky for you, Erin, a source just told oh, ET thank God. the reason why she has been hiding her baby bump. So like Naz said, according to Entertainment Tonight, some sources have spilled that Kylie plans to return once she's given birth to her baby. The source first explained what she's been up to, saying, quote, Kylie has been chilling at home for the most part and just living her best life. She has really enjoyed this time away from the spotlight. It's the first time she can remember in her entire life not being followed by cameras, and she's just trying to enjoy the privacy. The source also noted that Kylie's not going to deny she had a baby in the future or continue to avoid talking about it, saying this isn't a permanent thing as soon as the baby is born, she will make an announcement and introduce the baby to her fans. She will also address the fact that she went dark on social media and in the public. Well, everyone wants to know why, like I said earlier, she took a break from social media. ET Source is revealing that Kylie knows that it's irresponsible to promote and glamorize her pregnancy given her young age. She is excited to be a mom, but knows she's not your average 20 year old. She plans to introduce her newborn on Instagram and the announcement will coincide with the rebrand. Apparently that's gonna keep her personal life separate from her public life. Good luck with that girlfriend because your <laughs> public life is the reason why you have this business and this empire. And it is really difficult to have success in those lanes if you aren't in the public eye. Right. Um, although some people have been successful in that, like Jessica Simpson um, mm -hmm. has able to have like a really super successful shoe line without necessarily being in the public eye. Um, but, you know, I had a feeling this is kind of what her plan is. I don't think she has anything to be embarrassed about. Being 20 years old, you're an adult, you make your own decisions. If you want to have a baby, be proud of it, girlfriend. I right. feel like more people um, need to come out and be like, you know what? I'm pregnant and it's totally okay. Like that's, that's, happens in life, you know? Right. But after you did read this, um, I was, I kind of get it now. I'm like, since she was born, she pretty much has been on camera. Yeah. So I can understand wanting the privacy, but I don't understand just hiding the fact that you're actually pregnant. I think we should, you know, you should just say you're pregnant. And I agree with you, Aaron. I think it's gonna be really hard for Kylie, someone that, you know, kind of brought Snapchat back to life with like DJ yeah. Khaled. <laughs> like, yeah. someone who is like the queen of the snaps and the stories. Like, uh, we wanna see your journey with your child. So I wonder if we're even gonna see her kid. Now we will, this, I have so? a feeling. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. We She's not gonna be able to not share it with us. That's so true. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, in other news, Ed Sheeran had some very exciting news to share this past weekend because apparently he got engaged. Ed announced on Instagram that he and longtime girlfriend, Sherry Seaborn, secretly got engaged over the holidays. He posted an adorable picture of himself hugging and kissing Sherry with the caption quote, got myself a fiance just before New Year. We are very happy and in love and our cats are chuffed as well. Ed and Sherry were classmates when they were growing up in England and reconnected in 2015 with a little help from good friend Taylor Swift. Ed previously told People Magazine, quote, I've known Sherry since I was 11. She worked on Wall Street in New York and I had like six shows. 
It was around then that we reconnected. I went on tour again and then I went to Taylor's 4th of July party and I was texting Sherry and she was like, I'm in Rhode Island at a 4th of July party. And I was like, so am I. So I kind of said to Taylor, can I invite one of my old schoolmates? And the rest is history. And Aaron, this is just the cutest story and I love that Taylor Swift is involved, but apparently Perfect, his song Perfect, is inspired by Sherry, which is amazing. Like, can you imagine that song being inspired by you? But all I want to know is like, when you're at Sheeran and you make wedding songs, like what do you play at your own wedding? Yeah. Do you like sing at your own wedding to your Heck like no. new wife? No, actually, and my, he might play this song if it is about her. That right? would be really sweet. Yeah. Um, I love this story. I love that Ed has found love. It's so hard out there. It is really hard being a celebrity. I'm saying that like I am when I'm not. Um, but it's hard when you see celebrities in the public eye trying to date. It's so impossible. None of their relationships ever work out. But right. the fact that he's dating someone who he knew from deep in his past when he was 11 years old, mm -hmm. I really feel like this might be a marriage and a relationship that could stand the test of time because it already has stood like 20 years. Well, speaking of Taylor Swift and weddings and love, she is involved in one of her fans' weddings and it is the sweetest thing ever. So two huge Taylor Swift fans named Brittany and Lexi just got the surprise of a lifetime on their wedding day. The pair have been fans of Taylor Swift since the beginning of their nine year relationship, which is crazy. And Taylor hit love story actually played a big role in their love story, so much so that Brittany even used some of the lyrics from that song during her proposal to Lexi. So when Taylor got word of this, she took it upon herself to surprise the couple by sending them a bouquet of white flowers along with a very sweet note that read, Lexi and Brittany, you have no idea how honored I am. That love story has been such a big part of your beautiful love story. I'm absolutely thrilled that Lexi said yes, have the most magical wedding day, and hopefully I can meet you both soon. Love, Taylor. So naturally they were shooketh and Lexi tweeted out, still in freaking shock that Taylor Swift sent me and my amazing hubby flowers on our wedding day. They're so lucky. <laughs> I just want Taylor Swift, like Taylor, I'm a huge fan. Like we are never getting back together played a huge part in my oh. life. Oh yes, Taylor, <laughs> take notes. So Nas so, isn't engaged yet. I but... would love some flowers and chocolate on Valentine's Day. Yeah, exactly. And just for the single girls. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, you guys, can Millie Bobby Brown get any more adorable? Aaron? I think she might. I hope you guys are ready for it. Well, she just announced that she is officially off the market. And she announced it in the most adorable way. So Jacob Sartorius is a musically star turned singer and dating rumors between him and Millie started swirling when they began interacting more on social media with Millie liking Jacob's tweet about having a special someone on his mind. And even more so when Millie posted a pic holding the most snuggly stuffed animal and Jacob claimed it was a gift from him. Now, although this relationship wasn't even on our radar until last week, the two have actually been together for almost a month. This weekend, Millie made their relationship Instagram official by posting this adorable black and white photo of the two of them with three hearts and a date stamp of December 31st, 2017. So they obviously rang in the new year together. And I just feel like this is the year of Millie, you know, like she's just looking older on the carpet or style slaying. She's got a man. She's friends with Drake. Like, how is she? I really want to know about her friendship with Drake, Erin. Um, well, I would imagine it's pretty um, not as, as extensive as you would think just because she's a really busy girl. Right. She's on set shooting a ton of stuff right now. Right. Um, I don't want her to grow up. I feel like such a mom <laughs> right now. Like, I don't want That's her to have cute. a boyfriend, right? Like, when you heard this news, were you like, oh, how cute? I was like, Get away from her, Jacob Sartor. <laughs> you get your, you stand over there. Like I felt like so maternal about this relationship. I didn't want it to happen because she is so precious. She has a big career ahead of her. She's not have time for anybody in her life. I don't know. I'm all for it. I want <laughs> Millie to be in love and She's in still love and life. A baby, my head. <laughs> All right, you guys, I had a really important question that, that I was asking Naz off camera, and we don't know the answer, so I need to ask you. Is it Millie Bobby Brown? Is it, if you're like, hey, Millie, come over here, or is it like, hey, Millie Bobby? You know, like Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights? Oh my God, I love that movie. Yeah, so maybe she's taking that and being like, Millie Bobby, Millie Bobby only. <laughs> uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. And we also want to know what you guys think of this new Calvin Klein ad and Kylie hiding her baby bump. Are you over it? Are you excited? Are you anxiously counting down the days till we meet this new Jenner child? Let us know in the comment section below. And thanks for tuning in, guys. I've missed you all so much. It was Aaron's so good back. to see you. Yay. And I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully you will too. We'll see you guys here tomorrow. Right? Click to the left to see Kim Kardashian call out Chloe's ex. Or click to the right to see Justin Bieber mock Logan Paul.